For me, there were two pull factors with No Small Affair. I initially sought out this film because George Wendt is in it, and he's in it quite a decent amount, which is rare for when I'm finding these Wendt films. I'm currently trying to go through his entire filmography. And then I saw that John Cryer was in it. Not only is he in it, he is the star in it. He plays our protagonist. And I think he's great. So I thought, I have to see this. The premise sounded really interesting. From IMDb, the description is as follows. 16-year-old Charles loves to photograph. A cute girl's photo ends up in his camera. He later sees the older Laura singing in a bar. He takes a lot more photos of her and ends seeing her again, wishing to help her career. We'll ignore the uncomfortable grammar in that description. Basically, Charles is into photography. He accidentally takes a picture of this girl. He wants to find out who she is and they meet. And there's a little bit of exploration in this. And Charles, being quite young, starts to find out things about himself and who he is as a person and what his interest in the opposite sex is. It's a nice coming-of-age film. I think Charles works as a character really well. This was released in 1984, so John Cryer would have been probably just a little bit older than 16. He was born in 65, so just under 20. And he is adorable. He is very cute in this. And he plays the role really well. I, I like his performance. He's directed by Jerry Schatzberg. Um, the screenplay is by Terence Mulcahy and Craig Bolletin. I've almost definitely mispronounced at least one of those names. I do apologise. Um, I think Cryer is brilliant as Charles. I really like the character. I think he's got a great personality. I like his attitude. He's a little quirky. He has a little bit of an attitude towards some of the adults in his life. But the narrative itself is not that interesting. I like the fact that he's a photographer. It gives us some interesting shots through the lens of the camera. And as somebody who is slightly interested in photography, I like that. The film is about an artist. I enjoy that. But the whole him trying to find out who this girl is and then helping her career as a musician, I never really bothered. It never bothered me. I, I never really took to it. I didn't really care about the outcome. There is a scene where George went, his character's called Jake, and he is at a bar. And it's just Norm in a pub. That's exactly what it is, and I love it. So George Wen's role in this, I thoroughly enjoyed. That was the reason I sought this film out, so I have to be happy with that. As for the actual film itself, if Went wasn't in it, I obviously like the fact that John Cryer is in it. Even if Cryer wasn't in it, as long as the actor playing Charles was likeable, as Cryer is... It would still have its moments. It would still be quite good. It's a fairly decent film. It's easy to watch. The narrative isn't the most brilliant. But because of the character of Charles, it definitely has its moments. Would I recommend it? If you like coming-of-age films, you might really like this. Admittedly, it's not my favourite subgenre. But it's, it's pretty decent. The editing's great. Some witty lines from Charles... George Wentz in it, and, and John Cryer's adorable. It, it's certainly one worth looking out for.